Hi. Let's say I want to send this link to this video from my Mac computer to my iPhone. As an iPhone here I use a simulator but it's the, but it's the same thing. Here is what I do. Copy link, go to my handy web interface, click send on my iPhone, I click read from server and I get YouTube link. Now if I open this link Here it is. Looks good. Now, uh, what will happen if I was chatting on an, on my iPhone with uh, somebody and that person sent me a link? That happens all the time. So I copy that link from that iMessages. I don't have iMessages here in the simulator, that's why I have to explain it verbally. And then I click paste. I prepared that link before, so. So if I click paste, this the, the text that's in, that is in clipboard is pasted into my web clip application. And I click send. I go to my computer and I click read and here is this link. If I click open, it opens this link. So this is this is how easy it is to use iWeb clip iPhone and iPad application and I use it all the time. Now obviously the application itself you get when you buy it. The address to this web interface is actually emailed to you. You click that email button I just clicked and here is that address. That address contains this ID. I call it clipboard ID. Okay and this ID uh, when, when these two IDs match these two devices share basically the same messages they don't send them to one another like in the chat they send them to the server you know to this address basically here is by the way the ID and uh, so that allows you to share uh, uh, any text message between different computers and different devices and uh, I wrote it myself and I find it so much more e easy and productive to use iWebClip application compared to any other web clipboard I've ever tried and even came across. So that's the basic. Once you download uh, the IRA clip, you, you're gonna change this. You're gonna change this um, ID to whatever you choose. You could have several different IDs for different purposes. One you can share with your friends, one you can use it yourself, one you can use it for business, you know, it's up to you. And you can use uh, uh, Unicode letters. You can have even Japanese characters here. And the link will have, uh, have them all encoded and you'll access them from your website, from, from the browser, uh, exactly the same way. So, um, as an additional feature, 
the website stores the messages so you basically have you basically have um, an, uh, essentially a, a bookmark um, site where you store bookmarks so thank you very much if you have any questions let me know take care